Look at this. This is a digital image. Your computer must make thousands of calculations per second to make this image. Whether you're doing anything from playing games to just, like, looking at an email on Google, your screen has to show it. But how? It all starts here, your CPU, or central processing unit. It's the brain of your computer. It does pretty much all of the demanding work for your computer, despite it being smaller than a, a slice of cheese? Uh, well, uh, anyway. A modern CPU usually has four to eight cores that do a lot of work. They do almost all calculations and contribute a big part in how good a PC is. It's pretty important to say the least. This is your GPU, or graphics processing unit. Let's you see. I guess. It takes a lot of info from your CPU and makes it show up on your screen. Modern GPUs have anywhere from 3 to 10 thousand cores. This is because it must make a bunch of smaller calculations, unlike your CPU. When rendering, it uses calculations to make sure the light and shapes are looking just right. One popular selling point of a good GPU is ray tracing. Ray tracing uses advanced algorithms to calculate each light beam and simulates realistic color, shadows, and reflections with it. It is not an easy task for the GPU. Another feature of a good GPU is how many frames per second your video gets. Every second, 30 to 60 individual pictures are strung together to look like a moving picture. It's actually how all screens work. The higher the number, the smoother your video will be. With a good GPU, you always want to try and get 60 or more frames per second. This might mean you must turn down your settings as your GPU might not be able to show pictures at 60 frames per second at a high quality. This is different from refresh rate which is the maximum amount of times your screen can refresh or show a new picture every second. One last point I want to touch on is quality. If a screen is 720p, it means it has 720 pixels vertically. Most commonly is 1080p, which if we take the average width of 1080p, which is 1920, we can have 2,073,000 pixels. Higher quality displays, like a TV, can have up to 9,331,000 pixels. Remember, your computer must remake these 60 to 120 times every second. If you're running 1440p, or 2K, which is pretty common, at 60 frames per second, that is six, is no way I'm saying that number, 671 billion pixels it must change per minute. Okay, over the weekend recording this, I caught a little cold, so that's why I sound might sound a little weird. Virtual reality. It's where the future's going, let's be honest. Hopefully your PC is good enough for it. It has to render the whole 3D space and keep track of every small movement, then send it back to the headset so it can be displayed. Virtual reality takes a good GPU, but virtual reality games usually have non-realistic graphics, which is very good for the computer. Lately, new GPUs have had very mixed feelings from tech reviewers and consumers. Although even the lowest model is more powerful than the last generation best model, it has gotten significantly more expensive, power consuming, and just too large to fit into a normal computer case. The best model is taller in width than the Xbox Series X. How does this have anything to do with my PC? I asked myself because I'm alone in my room. Well, good question, me. All of this comes together to look a little something like this. All of this is completely rendered on my PC. It's not real. Now, earlier we've established that GPUs have crazy power, but that's not always good. Password crackers... N no, not those crackers. A password cracker... Okay, stop. A password cracker is a piece of software that uses thousands of cores in a GPU to run lots, and I mean lots of numbers, to try and guess passwords. It takes a lot of GPUs, but trust me, these people will find a way. Eight NVIDIA RTX 4090s, which is the most powerful consumer GPU on the market, can crack any eight-digit password in less than an hour. Thing is, this will cost more than $10,000. You only need to buy them once, though, so... You don't worry, this is very uncommon. Your password is, as long as it's not like password1234, it's probably safe. Another use for GPUs, don't, don't worry, it's good this time, is AI or artificial intelligence. In the past three years, artificial intelligence has gotten significantly smarter, with companies investing billions of dollars into it. 
it takes a lot of processing power to AI generate things, but things are progressing so fast that you might even be able to AI generate things on your computer. Computers are pretty cool, and now you know more about things like ray tracing, frames per second, and screen resolution. You can also just know what to buy. When you buy your next PC, you will know which GPU to buy, which is cool. And it's also just fun to know what's going on, I guess. And if that isn't for you, that's okay. If all you're doing is typing emails and watching videos, maybe just stick in the w with the one your PC came with is alright. Do whatever is best for you.